Hello, Copper fam. I'm Poet. Who are you? David Vianic. And myself and Vujic here to talk you through this year's summer transfer window. That is right. We'll be talking through all the completed transfers, looking at which players teams should be looking for this summer and, most importantly, who do we expect to see this August in the Premier League? So, Vujic, let's start with some of the signings that have happened so far. Memphis Depay. Dutch superstar making his way to Manchester United. Louis van Gaal doing his business nice and early. That way, PSG don't capitalise and sign him beforehand. That's also a tactic that Liverpool have looked at. And they've got in early to get Hoffenheim's Firmino. Southampton have also acted quickly in bringing Juanmi and Suarez from Malaga and Sporting Lisbon, respectively. Newcomers Bournemouth have wasted no time whatsoever shoring up their defence. They got Tyron Mings in for a club record fee and Sylvain Distant on a free transfer. But is that enough? You know, that leads us to ask, you know, where do the teams at the bottom need to improve their squads to ensure they can stay up and beat the drop? They need strength in, I'd say, the midfield areas. You know, your Lero first. Your, your Tom Huddlestone, just players that have had experience, that have played Prem football, technically quite astute. I think that's where they need to just build. But also, I feel be creative with the signings. You know, a team doesn't have the right amount of money. I think look at loan signings, look at maybe mm. players who are on the fringes in the top sides who would also need to get more Premier League experience. Like I'd say a player like Lazar Markovic. You know, he's come to Liverpool from Benfica. Not doing too great. He's not really getting opportunities. You want to see him maybe performing another team. He's going to play 90 minutes every game. You bring him down a little bit and then bring him up. One player I feel who's proven himself after a season in the Premier League is Charlie Austin. He gets goals against any type of club. And then there's players like Ipswich's Daryl Murphy. Had a great season in the Championship. He's proven himself that he can play. He can play. Well. He can score goals. Bring him to the Premier. Then you've got the teams in the middle. I'm talking about your West Ham, your Swansea's. Now, they're going to be trying to get them top six places. So I feel like they're the type of teams that will try and capitalise on any mistake that the teams in the top six make. And hopefully they can push on for a European place. Yeah, and a team that has made, I feel, the most successful model of getting young European talent and putting it into their squad. The top six haven't actually capitalised on, like Tadic from 20. You know, like Southampton are so good at that. I totally agree, Vuj. I think you're looking for players like Bastos at Wolfsburg, a player that wants to play higher level football and get into his national side. And I think players like that would be perfect for sides like the Swansea's, the West Ham's and Southampton's as well. The Copa America is on, you know, international football tournaments can always be like a scouting heaven for these clubs, like Enna Valencia after the World Cup, straight move. So maybe you're expecting a few moves from the Copa America, maybe even the under 20s World Cup. Now, let's look at the top six. Who do they have to sign to challenge for the title and to stay amongst Europe's elite as well? One name. Yeah. I think one name just springs to everyone's mind, Paul Pogba. He is the man I feel all of Europe's top clubs are looking at. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants him, from Real Madrid to Barcelona. I don't care if they haven't come out, they want him. Another player I feel these clubs should be looking at is Kevin De Bruyne. This is a boy that used to be at Chelsea. He's moved on to Wolfsburg and what he's done in German football cannot be ignored. Nice. You're talking goals galore, you're talking creativity galore. Definitely a player that these clubs should be looking at. One guy I'd love to see join the Premier League is Gonzalo Higuain. Proven goal scorer. He's shown he can play at the top level. You know, he's in good form. Why isn't he in the Premier League? Vajanic, one thing we haven't taken into consideration as of yet is financial fair Play. The question is, what is financial fair play and how does it affect the teams at the top? This one is a little bit difficult. Drawn up in a plan to prevent clubs from going bankrupt, UEFA's rules essentially say teams cannot spend more than they earn. Now, such a rule, it benefits the owners because it means, you know what, we don't have to spend a lot of money. And it doesn't really affect players or the fans. And to confuse matters, this rule only applies to teams playing in European competitions. Yeah, and as well as this, the Premier League have a ruling where each team has to have eight homegrown players in their squad of 25. By which they have to have been trained by a club who's been part of the Welsh FA or English FA for three years before their 21st birthday. For instance, Ramsey qualifies because he is Welsh. However, Fabregas and Alex Song also qualify because they train with the Arsenal youth team. So how do we get around this? A common tactic is to look at youth football. 
promote football from within the club, grow it from grassroots and bring it into the first side. 100% Booge, I'm sick and tired of seeing Manchester City buy young English talents, Scott Sinclair, Rodwell, and just have them rotting on the bench. I think you should take a look at Harry Kane. Have you seen what he achieved last season? That is an indication of what you've probably got in your youth setup. One player I'd love to see is Andres Pereira. He's in the United Youth setup. He's been there since 2011. He could become quite a proven player. Chelsea got a couple of players. They got Bamford. He was on a loan at Middlesbrough last season. And uh, Ruben lost his cheek as well. And you know, a good player, centre midfield. I'd like to see these players given an opportunity. And of course, the transfer window is not just about bringing in players. Let's get rid of some as well, a bit of dead wood. Question is, who would you want to get rid of Vuj at Liverpool? Probably half the squad, probably half of last year's summer signing. Some of these players definitely need to leave. I'm happy that Glenn Johnson, for example, is, is leaving and done. For me, I think I would quite like to get rid of uh, Matthew Flamini. So there is our rundown of the transfer window so far and what to expect. Question is though, who do you want to see come to your club and who do you want to see go? please do leave a comment below and tell us. And make sure to like and share this video. And most importantly, subscribe to Copper90 for the best in footballing content.